In this video, we're going to be talking about the CBC, also known as the complete blood count. I'm going to show you guys how it's ran on our automated instrumentation and the complete process of this. These are our CBC analyzers. They are Sysmex XNs. There's one on the left, one on the right. They do the same thing. We just have two because we are a higher volume lab. You can either load the tubes on all together or you can run them one by one. It's just faster to run them all together in the rack. And then once the CBC is ran, the results are transmitted to the computer screen attached to the XN. These are the results from a healthy patient, but first let's break this down so I can show you guys a little bit more of what all is inside of a CBC. The complete blood count includes white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, mean cell volume, mean corpuscular hemoglobin, mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, platelets, and your red cell distribution width. Now that that maybe makes a little bit more sense, here are the results from a not so healthy patient. The results of this CBC has a reflect something called a differential. When the instrument flags that a differential is needed, it then takes the tube to the next instrument here. This is our slide maker and slide stainer called the SP50. This instrument is a lifesaver for lab techs because it means we no longer have to make manual blood smears. Once it smears and stains the slide, it then takes the slide on a little conveyor belt to this instrument called the DI60, which is basically a microscope. So not only does it smear and sing the slide, but it also reads it for us. Once it reads the slide, it counts 100 cells, and then it transmits it to our computer system known as the Cellivision, which is what I'm showing you guys here. In my last lab video, you guys had some questions regarding white blood cells and to go a little bit more in depth with them, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. The five main white blood cells reported from a CBC differential are your segmented neutrophils, your EOs, your basos, your lymphocytes, and your monocytes. This here is a segmented neutrophil, also known as a SEG. The SEG has a deep purple nucleus with two to five lobes with a coarse clumped cytoplasm. Next we have the eosinophil, which is personally my favorite just because I think it's pretty. It has this really pretty pinkish purple cytoplasm which contains enzymes and proteins and it's all clumped and clustered and then it has a dark purple nucleus. This next cell is a basophil. Basophils are the least common white blood cell. It's kind of hard to see the nucleus of a basophil because there's so many granules in the cytoplasm. That these appear to be a dark purple and sometimes even like a dark black. Next, we have your lymphocytes. Your lymphocytes can vary in size. You can have small, medium, large lymphocytes. Lymphocytes have a light purple jelly-like cytoplasm and then the nucleus is large in the center. And then last but not least, we have your monocytes. Your monocytes are your largest of the white blood cells. They have a blue-gray, kind of like a glassy cytoplasm, and then the nucleus is sometimes oddly shaped. You can see sometimes it looks like this, and then sometimes it has different shapes like you guys can see in the background here. Not only does the television transmit your white blood cells, but it also shows us your red blood cells also. So now that you guys are caught up on your whites, let's talk about your red blood cells and your platelets. The red structures are red blood cells, and these little purple dots that you see here where my mouse is are your platelets. As you can see, this patient has a little bit of a wild morphology of red blood cells. This is a patient that I would call microcytes on because the red blood cells are so tiny. This little square shows the size of your average red blood cell, and this patient's red blood cells are kind of small. We also have some polychromasia, some anisocytosis. This cell here is a target cell. You can see how it looks like a target or a bullseye. We have a cell here that looks similar to like a cigar that's kind of elongated. This is an elliptocyte. Then we also have some crenated blood cells here, some valocytes. This patient has some pretty cool morphology. Anyway, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the lab.